let's talk about what is options constraint so in the options constraint we have products which are dependent of each other that is they must be sold together we can take example of when we are purchasing iphone then the charger and maybe the earphone they both should be coming with each other like if you are choosing the iphone the charger and the headphone should be coming together that can be dependency exclusion is like two products which can't come together for example if you are taking a mac laptop then the charger should not be windows so when a person is choosing mac laptop then automatically the charger of windows should not be eligible to select and that is called exclusion the two products not coming together so and that can have compatibility issue so that's where your two terminology comes into picture dependency and exclusion so firstly let's discuss what is dependency and exclusion in more details like how we can set up so we have this product 15 inch laptop so i will go to related i have already configured options constraint for keeping time in mind so we have dependent let's check that first okay so we have name constraint name we can name anything we want then we have constraint option see select the option in middle that you want apply to this constraint basically constraint option is like on which it is being dependent and constraining option is like choose an additional option if the constraint option is constrained another option basically this one is controlling product and this is being controlled that is if this is being selected then you can choose this now what are these products these are like the if we go to our options so these are the options it is talking about so p004 is ram 8 gb and 001 is cpu so what it is saying is like once you select cpu of 2.5 gigahertz then only you can have ram of 8 gb right now let's see in action so i go to code in that i am the code editor i will click on add products i will choose the 15 inch laptop okay so here is our 15 inch laptop now what i said is see ram 8 gb it's like we can't sell it and what it says cpu 2.0 gigahertz is required so it is giving you a message also that what is required we will select that and the moment i select it i can select it that is dependent that is cpu 2.5 gigahertz controlling field and based on that i can select the ram 8 gb that is the controlled field so that's how we are able to configure of type dependency so here we have to put type as dependency so that is first option now comes the exclusion so let's see how it works so in exclusion i have already created one again for the same ram what should be excluded let's see the product it's cpu 2.2 gigahertz that should not be selected only then we can select so if instead of this i select this one this is saying that ram 8 gb needs to be selected let me go here let me select this so now you can see that if i select cpu of 2.2 gigahertz ram 8 gb cannot be selected and that is called exclusion and here we need to type like put the type as exclusion now there is third thing called options constraint now what is that so let's go back and i see something as grouping let's see what happens here so let's open it and see in action so it can be possible that there might be multiple dependent products based on that you can select the product for example for a mac laptop you need a charger you need a headphone you might need another screen like there might be multiple de dependencies based on which you can get that product and that's where we do grouping that they all can come in one group you have to select all of them to purchase that particular product so here type 
him i'm putting as dependency options constraint name can be any name but it should be same for both the groups for example i say like i said about charger and headphone they both should be coming together if we are getting that particular laptop then we will be putting for charger like other constant groups we will put a name here and for the second one also we will be putting the same name so it knows that okay it is coming as one group it has to be purchased as one group so here the dependent product ram 16 gb now for ram 16 gb what we need to have 002 and 003 let's see that so it's we need the ssd hard drive of 512 uh, gb and then we need 2.8 gigahertz i7 processor so these two things we need so let's see that in action so it will be telling you see uh, you don't have to keep on checking there right if you're a salesperson you want to select this it says ssd hard drive so you will be selecting that particular ssd hard drive and then which one it says let me go back yeah so it says a 512 gb so let's select that and then what else it says it says you need 2.8 gigahertz so i select that we require both of them to get selected if i'm just selecting one see it's grayed out i selected both and based on that i can do the same